Good luck. Alright, this will be exciting. Um, I'll stick to Old Faithful here. Never done me wrong, except when it has. Alright. Already. <laughs> Already we are approaching dangerous levels of non Joseki knowledge, or out of Joseki territory stuff. Um, yeah, I'm more than a bit spooked by this. It is Halloween, but still. Uh, yeah, no, I like this deviation. So if they play fourth, if they play this fourth foul rook, it behooves me to play third foul rook against it. Um, the rest of this is more than a bit unsound. However, we still get an interesting game this way. All right. Um, I'm not anticipating a bishop exchange this instant. If I push my silver and they push the fourth foul pawn, shit gets crazy. But um, I don't think that's going to happen. So let's uh, let's play what we kind of sort of know. Right. So I anticipated, oh, actually in anticipation of this, it might have made sense for me to push my third foul pawn. I'm playing very speedily and hastily. Um, and you do need to exercise some calm and discretion. As much as I love the chaos. Uh, I was just watching Muranaka, uh today and his Halloween video also featured uh, this King uh, 3 9 thing. All right. Abigail knows about the trap that uh, would have happened last week in my teaching letter had I been paying attention, which is you can't move the king here. If you move the king here, then bishop 5 5 and pawn uh, whatever this is, 7 4. Um, is just such a mess. So instead of moving the king there, you move the silver here. Possibly I misread. Possibly I could have done this anyway last turn. And I just missed out on a really big opportunity. I don't think so. But anything's possible. All right, and from my game against Freeze It, who's now two Don, we learned that pushing the second foul pawn is not a bad thing. Um, is this what I want to do? What What is it that I should be doing here? We're playing double swinging rook, which means things get crazy very quickly. Um, so if I push this pawn, if they take rook takes, what are they doing? Um, rook drops back somewhere, a pawn drop in front of the silver. So I think there is some sane way for them to play this. So it doesn't exactly make sense for me to push this pawn without having provoked some other weakness first. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think this is how we try to press for an advantage. And now there's got to be some logical way to continue. Um... I don't want to move my silver, because last time I did that, things got really crazy. On the other hand, moving the silver might be the correct move here. 
just objectively speaking. Moving my gold doesn't really do anything because the gold's too slow to protect this pawn. Yeah, I think I have to move the silver again, even though this is going to cause utter madness. But I think this is the right move. And with this... Um... Uh, my goal was to protect this point. So I was going to move the silver to 5-7. Um... Absent any better move. Yeah, this looks quite reasonable still. So normally I would want to play Tower Amino, get my gold up to 4-7 uh, here. But their attack here is too swift. Um, it's in the name of getting a rapid defense going. I'm moving the silver instead. But also the silver does kind of want to climb. I might end up switching back into central file territory if I push the center pawn. Um, it's complicated. Now wait, if I move my silver now, if I decide it's my turn to attack, where do we end up? Silver, silver, pawn, pawn, rook, pawn, rook takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, hits this rook. They don't have anything to block my bishop. Um, so the rook moves. I can't take the lance because the rook's moving to protect the lance. Um, so that's one way this could go. Another way this could go, silver, 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 hit a, uh, to 5-5, five, five, hitting this pawn. And should be cray. Um, yeah, that's kind of insane. Wait, hang on. If I push this pawn, nothing's defending this gold. Yeah, they're going to have to take a turn to reinforce something here. Or they put the pawn right back in front of the gold, but... Um, hmm. This just looks... This looks like the fight I've always been asking for and have never wanted. <laughs> but I keep asking for it. Hmm. Interesting. Um, <laughs> All right, let's fight. This looks like the right thing to do. Um... I am surprised. Interesting. I mean, I get that you want this file open for the rook. Okay. That makes some sense as well. Um, there are some problems with this strategy. Not just one. <laughs> this uh, this whole thing he's doing looks kind of... I don't know. Looks exciting, but... I'm not sure that it's that good. I can protect this pawn, and they have a very hard time attacking it. Um... Huh. Well, if I give them a pawn in hand, who knows what they can do? My opponent knows. I don't know. Um. Alright, screw it. 
We're going to freestyle the castle. That seems insane. <laughs> All right, so I'm debating when they take my pawn. Do I recapture with the silver or with the knight? Um, this is not a question you want to ask yourself every day. <laughs> but um, it seems interesting. I like knight takes. I really do. Because they have only a single pawn in hand. Which um, means their attacking prospects are somewhat limited. And if I can control all the squares that they can attack on, then there's nothing for me to worry about. Except how to attack them back. I don't think it's going to be that simple. Silver takes would be the safer move here. But, oh man. It just feels like the right way to prosecute an advantage here would be knight takes, if there is an advantage to be prosecuted. Like, this knight here looks so strong. And this is kind of sort of silver crown, but with kind of a discount. <laughs> like, okay, I put the silver in place. Um, the rest of silver crown is missing, but I think it's fine. This is such a delicate castle. Um... Yeah, I'm playing with fire. Hmm. I don't know where any of my pieces belong anymore. This is what I get for playing with fire, is that nothing makes sense. Um, it's probably still fine, but just expect confusion in abundance. Alright, so if I want my generals to defend each other, moving the gold up would make sense. If I don't want to lose my rook, my rook should stay over here. Let's start with that. So, I'm going to keep the rook here, far from the king, so I don't lose my rook. And we'll see what castle we come up with this time. Um... Yeah, so our opponent take, um, does a sane thing and protects his king. Um, and I don't want to do this, but we're going to close the diagonal. This way I can put my bishop uh, in the center of the board and chase their king over here. And also just all kinds of miscellaneous tactics that ruin my day um, will vanish. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, this is a good timing to move the gold, but I'm not sure where it belongs. Um, and I don't want to spend time pushing my edge pawn. There's so many other things I'd rather be moving at this time, but, um... If I move the bishop, then later the bishop can take here.
Also, my bishop's in the way of my rook. Yeah, so we're going to move the bishop so it no longer blocks the rook. So we've split the board in two. My castle's a wreck. I'd rather have at least one silver approaching their king. Alas, it is not to be. So what else can I summon? The other thing to consider is if I do push the second foul pawn, I could drop right behind it. And if gold takes, maybe some fun tactics happen. I think it takes more than two pawns in hand for those sorts of tactics to work. But um, that might happen at some point in this game. Um... Oh, why are they considering this? Oh. Oh my goodness. That was unexpected. Okay. Um. Hmm. Now my silver is very much out of place. Wait, have I missed something for so many moves in a row here? I think the answer is maybe. There's only one piece defending my weakest point. And that means that piece can't also defend this other point. <sighs> so what do we do about this? Could lift the silver again, but that seems risky. To attack from my castle, I could just put a pawn down in front of my knight. It burns a move. Um, hmm. This silver advance looks interesting. So, uh, if I push the center pawn, which is crazy, either pawn takes or silver takes, and then I move the... Oh, if the pawn takes, if I move my silver, they move the bishop back. And I've not gained a pawn, and I've made my position worse. But then I can use the knight to hit the bishop, so I can gain the pawn back. Um... Yeah, that's crazy. So if I push my center pawn, <laughs> trying to exploit this moved bishop, uh, stuff gets real. Pawn takes silver, or pawn moves, silver takes, silver climbs. Uh, they don't have any way to plug the diagonal. Um, or at least to stop me from taking this. My king is so open against a bishop drop, it's not even funny. But if I get greedy and try to go pawn snatching, I can't actually snatch a pawn. That seems ill-advised. Let's protect my knight so I don't lose my knight. And also give my silver some support in case I choose to advance it. Yeah, that was an awkward timing. But I think this was necessary.
Um, all right. I'm prone to silver forks on my back rank. But, um, I don't know. There's advantages to this somehow. I do have to build a castle. I would like to put my gold up where my pawn is, but that's not feasible. So this is the awkward timing in my castle build. Um, next, I'm going to move the gold over one more. Or maybe put the silver back in the pawn up, but that just is a waste of time. Um, but yeah, I, this gold is not participating until now. And now it is. So hooray. And gold gets a participation trophy. I don't know if I should have just moved it to the right and then to the right again. Or up and to the right like I did. But um, I thought that defending this point was valuable. This kind of reminds me of the thing. Um, well, yeah, my castle is a mess. Who am I kidding? But might as well build it anyway. It would cover more territory if this gold could move up and to the right again. So nothing is defending this silver. <sighs> We're going to continue building. That's going to be fine. Um, nothing is protecting this silver. <sighs> um... I don't understand this gold advance. All right, we're going to use my bishop, and it's going to be fine. My opponent is like super devoted, like they point their bishop and, well, the rook is on the same rank, but they point the bishop in the direction of their own castle. They're that dedicated to defense. So while they are defending, I will make some attempt to attack. It might go okay. Um, if I pawn 5-5, five, five. so candidate moves, pawn 5-5. Five, five. Silver 3-5, which is it going to be? If silver 3-5, gold takes, pawn takes, uh, pawn takes, I have a gold that doesn't really do much. Well, it actually wins the bishop. It's not bad. If pawn 5-5, five, five, I blocked my bishop. Yeah, so this makes my decision easier. So what am I going to do after? What's my next move? 30 I don't know. I have some ideas, but I'm not fully sure what I'm doing. But yeah, having the gold will be an asset because this knight is in the wrong space. And the knight can't move right now. So 
So I suspect the response is going to be this gold retreats, and then I take this pawn. This would be the most peaceful arrangement. This might not be what happens, but this is what I think could happen. Far more violent thing would be gold takes silver, which I think is busted. Like, I'm not seeing why they're so desperate to get that piece right now. Oh, it does block my bishop. So while I'm winning their bishop, they'll win my bishop. If I just keep it here. If I move it away, I'm collecting material. My king looks safe. Yeah, I am just confused. So maybe they'll move the silver to make room for the bishop, but then this weakens the king's file. I'm debating do I want to push this pawn first or this pawn first? I don't know. Oh, I forgot there's one thing they can do to attack my knight. Um, that is a thing. I could move the knight, knight takes, pawn takes, rook takes, whatever. Or I could just let them win the knight and I could go take the gold, but giving up an entire piece in the midst of an attack seems kind of sketchy. Um, yeah, I've actually activated all of their pieces. This is not right of me. Um, yeah, I should have thought more critically about this. Oh well. Can I use a knight somehow after we exchange knights? Oh, here? Really? This is too slow. This gives up a vital tempo. He didn't see the trap. Okay, we're gonna win a bishop. Oh, well, perhaps he saw this and he's counting on his attack being faster. It is awfully fast. Um... Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, well, this is sad. But if I go to the edge file, I get mauled. So we're going here instead. Um, I could pawn drop in front of the silver. That would seem to defend my position. Oh, 
Pawn drops, silver takes, lance takes. They could do another drop here. I take a general. Uh, hmm. I think I just have to take the bishop. I think I'm fine. I could be horribly misjudging something here. Um, okay, what? Uh... uh no. How... How is this useful to him? How does the attack even continue after this move? Um... How can my attack continue? I bishop drop a hit the rook. The rook protects all my bishop moves. Um, but no, I have to protect this head. But yeah, if I bishop drop 3 1, they move the rook to 5 2. My bishop's trapped. Um, I could maybe rescue it, but um, there's got to be a clearer way for me to attack than this. I'm assuming they're going to do silver takes gold. This could be wrong, but... Um, yeah, my king situation is slightly dicey, but I've got a whole bishop. Well, for one general. They have a general, I have a bishop. So it's not as dominating as I'm pretending it to be. Still, I don't see how they can... Well, if they drop a general here... Um, I was counting on just hitting the rook. Okay. This is how they expedite their attack. Um, again, I'm kind of just anticipating if I attack their rook, this attack slows down. Um, that was my thought. Hmm. It's confusing. Such a cowardly defensive move. But I feel like this secures my king. So how can I say no? Okay, yeah, no, I am giving back a ton of material, aren't I? Willingly or otherwise. Um, mm, 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 I see. Very clever. This is how you conduct an attack. Well, I can't just let my gold be taken for nothing. So... Yeah, I'm giving back a ton of material to try to build a castle. Um, right. I expect... Oh! This is clever. Not where I expected the knight to drop. I did expect a knight drop, but not there. So this hits two vulnerable pawns. <sighs> um, if I bishop drop, he just puts a gold here somewhere. The thing that effectively 
Defense against a knight, however, up. is a silver. So both of these points are defended. I don't think this is the correct place for him to put his knight, unless he's got some other piece to use to attack with. Right, and when they take here, now I'm going to open the file. You know this is coming. Everybody knows this is coming. So I push this pawn, then I push the third file pawn, and I take the knight, and bishop takes, and I hit the lance, and pray that I have an attack. Um, that's option A. Option B is bishop drop right here, and then chase the rook, which is so tempting. Um... Man, they have two golds. I want to expedite this attack. So if I push both of these pawns, and then I do rook takes here, they start putting golds in my face. But maybe this is as it should be. Maybe I should push this pawn first. Get the silver out of the way so my rook can go to the center square. Um, I think it all starts with this move. And then we push this, and then we push this, and then the rook takes, and rook takes, and I activate my rook, and say, forget my king, it's my turn to attack. Possibly in this sequence, this pawn move is the one he didn't anticipate. And I play quickly because, like, I have no attack if my rook is not in the attack. So I know that these pawn moves cannot be bad. Because I have no attack without the rook. Um, therefore, I have to make these pawn moves for my rook to be part of the attack. Therefore, these moves are right. Um, and we put... Abigail into Biyomi, just as they start unfolding their entire castle. Now the question here is, do I do rook takes pawn, or do I do silver takes knight first? Silver takes knight is a bit ambitious, but it would put my bishop on a good square. Um, Yeah, let's get this into the game. At some point, he runs out of gold generals to drop. Hmm. Right, he doesn't need to drop a gold general to defend against a rook. Okay, I knew that. Um... I'm not so crazy as to kamikaze all my pieces, although it is tempting. Um, Rook's going all the way back here. This knight move exposes the rook to attack for my bishop, as it promotes. I think I take this knight, 
and then I check and I take this pawn. Oh, but then this rook has a good file to go to. Uh, so I guess I'm hanging my gold in front of my king. That doesn't make any sense. That does not make any sense. I can't do that. Um, no, we're taking the knight. We're going to ignore material count considerations in favor of trying to get an attack that works. There's a check. All right, and do I take this gold? I don't think so. Pretty sure I don't have a mate if I take the gold. Um, So we're going to promote here, and this hits the silver and the rook while preserving an attack on the 7-1 square. Okay, I'm not super comfortable with this. Do I pawn drop to defend my gold? I mean, what else can I do here? If I retreat the gold, they just put another piece right down in front. If I pawn drop, yes, they get a gold, but it's okay. Now, if I pawn drop, I don't have the option to drop another pawn. Hmm. Jeez, this game is difficult. I hate that I keep giving up Tempe, but I don't have a choice here. Unexpected. So unexpected. So what the hell can I do now? Um, this is bad. I mean, I could take this pawn. It doesn't do much for me, but it's better than nothing. No, it's not. Um, I could take the lance. Lance might save my butt someday. Oops. Alright. Lance might save my butt someday. So I need to attack. Silver on the edge files doing absolutely nothing.
All right, I have a general in hand now. <sighs> the next general that I take with here is probably... Well, shit. I forgot, knight takes might actually be a real thing. Um... Hmm. Yeah, the next piece that I take here with is my rook. But I don't think I, that's happening. I don't think there's... Oh, shit. Now knight takes is a thing. Of course. Pieces and shogi promote. Uh, someday I will remember all the rules to this game, and I will become proficient at it. Um, that's not today. All right, so takes, 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 drop. Sucks for me. So the only way I can deal with that is by continuing to drop pieces around my king. Or starting to concede some material, which is not going to end well. Um, screw this. It's not where I want my lance, but it actually needs to be here, given what the situation's calling for. I thought I was going to use the lance to attack something on this side of the board, and I could not find a good use for it. So I'm going to continue complicating my woes. Um. Oh. Okay. Wow, I've compounded my problems severely. Um, I have no idea what's going on anymore. It's the fight I've always been asking for and never have wanted. It just keeps happening. Um, Bishop takes as a possibility. Rook takes as a possibility. <laughs> Oh, these are sad possibilities. I want the king. The king's protected. Why can't I protect my king? Have I misread something here? I know there's a lot to read. I thought I read it accurately. Pawn drop. That's what I misread. Okay. Um, that's a problem. The one thing I missed is that another pawn drop um i read everything else can i get partial credit uh, i guess not This is sad.
This is sad. So the little detail here is that if I don't give up my rook, I am mated. That's an important detail. If I move the king to the right, um, they take you. Oh, yeah, that's just mate and one. I saw something way more complicated, but the mate and one prevails. So we have to sack the rook here. And we're going to run the king, and it's not going to get anywhere. But we can dream. Yeah, this is atrocious. My only attack is gone. My king is free for a moment. But this is not going to confuse our World Shogi League um, prestigious opponent. So, yep. Um, it's all over but the crying. Alright. Um, hmm. Okay, my rook is useless in an attack. Um, so perhaps... Uh, perhaps I need to use it to defend because it's a useless attacker at this point. Okay. Oh! Oh, clever... wait, I'm not sure. This is my only move that doesn't immediately get mated, so we're going to play this. Um... Yeah, if I go there, there's a silver drop, so it makes this decision easy. This decision, likewise, is easy. See, this part of the game where the king just runs away from the attacks, and there's, like, very few decisions involved on my part. This part is so much easier than the rest of Shogi, because you know that you've lost, and it's just a matter of prolonging the inevitable. Um, and trying to save some face while doing it. Um... All right. So, we've made it this far. Our opponent has a knight that's going to be used to harpoon us in the face. Um, my only way to generate an attack is using both knights to break this castle. So, if I put down the first knight, um, they just put a pawn down and I don't have a way to continue. That's a problem. Um, if I drop a pawn here, uh, it's still nowhere near. My Not only way to attack deal. is the knight takes the gold, threatening to take the other gold. No, I'm sorry, I have a rook. I could pretend to have an attack with the rook. It doesn't go anywhere. 
Um, yeah, this is... I need to get this gold out of the way so I can approach the king with my other knight. This is the only way that I can manage anything resembling an attack. So no matter how much material that costs me, no matter if that costs me my king, this is the way to attack. There is no other way. I forgot that rooks promote when they um, are back here. So yeah, this promotion is actually concerning. But nothing I can do. I think the word for that is shogunai. Just as it is. Right, so this is actually kind of what I hoped for. That I've got this gold away from the king. Now I'm still instantly mated by this dragon. Um, I just hope that there was some way to continue my attack. To check is to chase. Checking is futile here. Um, but if I don't smoke the king out, um, that's also futile. This doesn't work. But it's complicated. It's not even that complicated, but um, it's better than nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. I think this is a way of saying that my attack has no future whatsoever. I think that's how I'm reading that. Um, that's good information. It's valuable information. Um, because I can use that to help make decisions. Um, so, yeah. Odds are definitely not in favor of my attack. But hey, now we're talking about odds. We are talking about both players having some form of an attack. And yeah, that's not what we were talking about a minute ago. So, gotta have some enthusiasm for that. Um, Okay. What? Excuse me? Uh, oh shit. Wait, okay, I forgot I have my knight back here. Um... So I have mate. Abigail, why? What happened, Abigail? How did this happen?
Oh, perhaps this is a misclick. If this is a misclick, that's tragic. Although I don't think it worked. Even with a knight upper rank. I'm so sorry. Good game. Well, that was confusing. I think we were both very confused this game. Um, there was a Sume at 98. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. That wasn't me choking about this uh, comment. That was just me coughing on something. Uh, yeah, no, I completely agree with Moonsei. There was something going on this game. Uh, somewhere between around 20 plus moves before the game ended. Yeah, I'm not coughing or anything out of humor's sake. I'm not trying to make any fun of it. I've, I just legitimately had this reaction. Uh, yeah, no, uh, certainly, I mean, there was something here. Um, all right, so, uh, can we analyze from the beginning? I know we're all super excited about the end of the game. <laughs> I know this is how you hook in all, hook the spectators. <laughs> uh, uh, me too in a different way. Yeah. Yeah, this, yeah. We start game analysis from the beginning. <laughs> We're going to be stuck all day on that endgame. Because I Furibisha endgames are super confusing. So we're going to start from the beginning. Oh, okay, cool. All right, cool. Uh, so, yep. Um, uh, so, uh, so, uh, this morning, uh, Muranaka released uh, another third file rook video. Maybe it inspired me to not play uh, central file rook. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, something is going on here. Um,. I wonder if I've missed uh, a tactic already. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Abigail is a proponent of third file rook instead of uh, fourth file rook. Um, third file is like way more aggressive. You could do a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, so I wonder, like, what about this? And can I just do this now? Am I just dumb or... Oh, uh, okay, I guess this is not so easy. Ah. All right, yeah. Ah, so, okay. I be was beating myself up over missing that somewhere. Um. But no, he's right that that is simple enough to deal with. Um, so, yeah. Here, I'm not sure uh, what uh, my top priority is. So, like, I've got this kind of stuff. I've got this. Got this, that, this sort of thing. There's a lot of things I could consider here. Um, uh, so I did move my silver, but... Uh, okay, yeah. 
So like this maybe. All right, and then we go back, I guess. Oh. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this is good, I guess. Uh, it's, it sure as heck is confusing me. But maybe it's fine. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess the center point's not quite defended just yet, but I I don't know. Um Yeah, so, I don't know, maybe, okay, so this is how he, Abigail might recommend trying to play against this. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm so nervous about this diagonal opening up that, like, it was hard to focus on my attack. <laughs> yeah, with this kind of stuff. Um... So, anyway, it's complicated. Um, we ended up playing this way. Uh, uh, so, this attack surprised me a bit. Um, um, but anyway, it's probably fine. I suppose another I uh, is silver three five. Um, this here. And I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's pretty messy. Oh, hang on. Well, no, this pawn can't materialize in both places at once. Um. Right. Uh, so I would step back now. And this is a situation where uh, Gota does not have pawn in hand. Uh, looks complicated. I don't know. Shogi's hard. Um, I mean, maybe it's not as complicated as I'm pretending it is yeah um yeah i guess uh what i played in the game uh, was decent though so even though we had this variation and it could have been really confusing um this is not where we actually ended up where I just chose to defend my pawn, stand my ground, as it were. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is important, too. Yeah, that would be uh, far wiser than my move. <laughs> Far, far wiser, because we saw what happened in the game where I was basically getting killed on the third file. This knight protects that square. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, if he wants, I can give him the hat. Uh, 
uh, says his game to start reviewing anyway, I suppose. Um, let's see. Oh, also, welcome Destiny. Yeah, yesterday was, for the first time in many months, streaming a non-shogi game. Oh, hang on. Um, I am the host. Uh, I can give him the study host if he wants us to look at stuff. Um, yeah, today we had two. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's a good thing that it made him think. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, decisive, too. It's like, I wanted to play this and this and just push. But uh, I thought I'd have to push this first for any of that to work. But this maybe just made things harder for myself. Certainly slowed down my attack to spend a move doing this. Although later maybe I got the move back by sacking the pawn. Yeah. Not sure even how safe it is though. Um, it's like this actually could come up and just strike the bishop. Um, yeah, yeah. This this is interesting too. This helps protect his king. Uh, this is surprising. Um, what, oh, what about knight two five? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. We want to take a look at this. If I were thinking rationally at this point, I probably would have spent more time looking at this instead of me just being all emotional about the game. Um... Oh. Uh, uh, okay. I did analyze many variations, but this is not a variation I analyzed. Oh dear. Was it really so simple? Um. Hmm. Was this really all so simple? I wonder. Um, hmm. I'm trying to find a way to break it, but yeah, no, I don't see. Yeah, it's close, but let's see. I don't see a way to break it. Um, I tried. Maybe this. I don't know. Um, maybe this had to be played earlier or later. I don't know. So much I don't know. Um, and then we kick the bishop. And then we try to break in on our own king's file. Um, but this may be a bit ambitious. Maybe it's fine. Uh, I haven't found a way to bust my attack yet, but, uh, 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 I guess, 
Ah, looks complicated. Because both positions are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this just went from complicated to, like, a new dimension of complicated. Um, I guess I have to take it. That's great. A nice position to analyze, that's for sure. Sit down with a glass of wine or five. And just start chugging away at position analysis, of course. Um, yeah, destiny leaves as any sane person fearing this kind of analysis. Yeah, any sane person would fear this kind of analysis because it's just insane. But, um, yeah, I guess that looks fun. Maybe next time we'll do this variation. <laughs> uh, oh. Um, I mean, it looks painful. Do I need silver 3-6? Well, yes. Silver 3... Uh, covers 2-7. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think my own position is kind of suspect. Hmm. <sighs> if they... <tr> <laughs> sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> hmm. That looks messy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I do kind of like this variation, but probably would not play it in a real game unless I've had enough to drink. Um, yeah, that looks like a hot mess. Um, so... Hmm. Uh, so... I... Uh, sure. Yeah, I was trying to think of, like, how to ask, are we done looking at this variation, and do we want to go back to the main game variation? Or the main game line? In hindsight, I don't really like my pawn drop. It's too cowardly. Uh, that's fine. Uh. Might have helped you just a bit with this. Um, I got so excited by the center file opening. Yeah, this, this is special. Uh, 
I don't even know where we should end up after all of this is said and done. Yeah, I kind of helped him. I was I was greedy. I almost paid for it. Maybe I did end up paying for it. Like, I ended up giving back a ton of material. But never gave back enough material to stop the attack. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, that's the key point, is that this blocks my bishop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I forgot, like, I'm like, what's this knight doing attacking here? But no, this is actually vitally important for his defense. Um, yeah, I see. Well, hmm. Yeah, this gold move prevented me from taking on 5-4. It supported, yeah, this knight, so that makes sense. Did I take the knight before capturing the pawn? Yeah. Um... Let's see, we're talking about this. Um... Yes, I guess we're going to go back here. This is what I was thinking a little bit about. Um, and I guess now, I don't know, something. Now I have a move somewhere. Um, I didn't have this all crystallized. I guess this is still what this would look like. I guess the gold drop would still happen. So, I'm not sure that this goes much further. Oh, thank you, Destiny. Um, yeah, thanks for our many teaching ladder games that we had together. Good times. Um... Yeah. Of course, GLGR had connection issue at the moment, but um, 
I don't really see anything more to this variation than what I just showed here. And since he's not connected at the moment, probably you should just go back to the main line. Because I don't see... yeah. I mean, there is this, but it's the same damn thing. Uh, wait, no it's not. Oh, wait. Uh, this might have been a little bit more than what happened in the game. Uh... Oh, so fixated on, like, my rook is my best piece. Of course it has to be part of the attack. Uh, jeez. I think he, my opponent's still fine, but this is just a very different direction than the game went. Um, and I say I think they're still fine, but I'm actually not completely sure. No, no, no. Let's, let's have some fun. Um, yeah, so, uh, Um, wow, did my, t oh, that's why, <laughs> yeah, I'm so optimistic. Yeah, so fine. I guess we just take the pawn and threaten the knight and stuff. Um, uh, so... Uh, it's frustrating that I don't have the right material to break this castle. Where's the mate? Where's my beautiful checkmate? Um, I want mate. I want mate. Yeah, there, there has to be a mate. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not fair. How come my opponents get to mate and I don't? because they do their sume. <sighs> uh, I don't understand this position. Like, I want to drop pawns somewhere and have it mate. And I'm not seeing that here. <sighs> hmm. Can I do this? Is this just crazy? I want mate. Give me mate. <laughs> um. Mm hmm. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Uh, oh. Yeah, so... Yeah, you're probably right. They should just take here. Uh, 
I want mate. Let's see. Now I lost a whole tempo. My kingdom for a tempo. Um. My kingdom for a tempo. Oh, bishop take four. Well, the... Um... Oh, well, this sacrifices a bishop, but... Yeah, no, you're right. That's an alternative. Um... Oh, <laughs> yeah, giving up a bishop means your opponent can start using the bishop, unfortunately. Um, I still feel like there's... I've missed something. Like, it's crazy just how resilient this castle is. It should not be this resilient. Somehow this should fall. Uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I just don't understand how taking the lance could be valuable here. I just... Yeah, I want mate. Where's my mate? There is no mate, is there? Um... So this 4-3 gold drop happens before we do this. What if we do this first? Uh, yeah, this knight takes gold threat is too severe in most positions. Uh, um, uh, I'm pretty sure I get mated. Wait, why this? No, this is... Yeah. Yeah, this has... You have to play this here. Um... This is interesting. Oh, right, so now we have this gold. Oh, why? None of my attacks ever work. Uh, taking is tempting. I'm looking at both capture, well, three captures right now. Um, oh, that's interesting, too. I wonder, what about this? I mean, they say to check is to chase, but have they ever enjoyed checking the king? Do they ever realize how enjoyable it can be to just keep giving check? 
Um, perhaps if they realized how fun checking was, they would stop. Um, they would, I don't know, be more sympathetic to this checking cause. Um, I wonder... I like one of my attacks has got to work somehow. It's not possible that every one of my attacking ideas fails. Somehow, somewhere, like something about my attack has to be sane. Um. Um. That doesn't mean that this works, but I dream that it works. Um, hmm. Perhaps this is all super suspect. Yeah. That's so close. So, so close. But also so far. And I've given up this avalanche of pieces that can be used against my own king. Yep. Well, that's too bad. Uh, sure. So, yeah, I got super carried away looking at variations here. Which I didn't have time to read out during the game, but perhaps that's for the best. Um, yeah, if I had a knight, a knight would be the right piece to take this pawn. And I did get a knight. And I don't know. I don't know why I'm, like, so super extremely blind here. There's got to be some reasonable way to continue the attack. I don't know. I guess we'll just continue as the game went. Uh, it might be bad. Um, I think what I really might have needed to do was something like this instead. Maybe. Um, Just, like, my attack is always too slow. Um. Hmm. Alright, take care, Destiny. Or, I'm sorry, take care, GLGR. That's right. Um. Hmm. Okay, I <laughs> Wow. Even in the post game analysis I cannot read. <laughs> nice. Uh although like winning this exchange, like if I block with my bishop and like somehow manage to not lose an entire rook. Even so, like their king is safe. Oh, yeah, we're leaving host position, returning to host position. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, we are spending a long time analyzing, and we did get fixated on the end game, and I didn't have any special remarks anyhow. Uh, hmm. Oh.
I guess part of the reason that we spent, we're spending so much time on analysis is because I was just so upset by the end of the game about uh, so many things. Um, and I'm trying to rationalize it, but um, a good part of it comes down to if I practice more Sume, then I'll eventually get to practicing Yosa and other stuff. Um, but, yeah, a lot of interesting things happened in Bioyomi, and by some miracle, I emerged victorious. Uh, a lot of these side variations are interesting, and I didn't have time to analyze them during the game, but also I'm never going to get those exact positions again. It's just interesting to look at what could happen. Um... Yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, that's right. Spectators were asking if they could look at uh, something around here-ish. I forget exactly where. But yeah, here... Uh, move 90. So this is move... I've made move 89. And so move 90, we're thinking there might be something else here. Would not surprise me. I was afraid that the rip would enter the attack with decisive effect. Um, yep. Um... Um, so... I was thinking this, but it's probably no bueno. Yeah. Uh, a silver drop was bad. Oh. Oh, yeah, I did that a while ago. I, um, wait, no. No, I did just drop a silver here. Yeah, it did trap my king. Duh. Okay, yeah, my mistake. If I were dropping a silver, the other side would actually be safer for my king. Um... I have no idea at this point. Like, yeah. no, he has the silver active. I don't know what that means. I can't count if this is one move ahead or a move behind the game. Although, since I'm threatening to win a rook. I'm guessing that it's one move uh, faster than the game, because I spent a move putting the lance down. Silver 5-6. Oh no. Poor Abigail. Ah, poor Abigail. Well, I mean, I've blown some endgame attacks, too. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't think silver 5-6 is any faster, but I do think I am mated. I am very thoroughly mated here, uh, even without dropping my silver for a pawn. Um, so yeah. Directly knight takes 4-7, yeah. I mean, this is what transpired in the game. Tried to shut out the rook, and this pawn drop was a very nice pawn drop. Almost certainly there is mate here. Um, yeah, this has got to be the point somewhere. It's too much for me to read, but... Uh, oh, and he only took two seconds here. 
That is most unfortunate. Wait, is this the mate? Is this the thing? I have no idea. I mean, this looks a lot like checkmate. Um, but maybe somehow I'm not... I don't know. Eh. I'm guessing this is more convincing than what actually happened in the game, and you could start promoting all the tokens too, and it's it's really painful. But maybe it's gold uh, two seven instead of gold three seven. Um. Yeah. Yeah, this looks busted. Uh, to spare both of us all the embarrassment of reading this out and missing everything. We should do actual sume sometime. I did get a book. I will do want to practice it in book form uh, before I take to doing it on the computer. So we're gonna uh, I'm gonna practice some super easy mates offline, which is not the same thing as play shogi. Play shogi is like way more advanced and more interesting. And like way more stressful. And I'm not up for something stressful this week. Yeah, so I'm just like gonna agree with everything Abigail's saying here because I don't know any better. But also, that really looks like checkmate. Gold three eight and gold takes three eight is check. Silver take is forced. Knight takes. King takes. Gold three seven. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, like I said, trying to spare us all the embarrassment. Um, yeah, sorry, Abigail. I did read out the chess-like variations, but this thing eluded me somehow. Uh, practice makes perfect. Uh, also, keeping track of pieces in hand is hard. Like, if you're practicing sume problems from basically any source, most of those problems are not going to feature you capturing a piece and then using the captured piece to deliver the mate. That usually doesn't happen. Sometimes it does, but um, yeah, let's hand over the host status because I'm confused. Um, so this double exchange. Oh, and the pawn's still there. And the gold and the pawn hem in the king. I see. That's the difference. Okay. Yeah, this is all forced. And then he's able to use the generals that just got exchanged off to deliver the mate. All with check. Wow, that's unfortunate. Uh... Ah, it's okay. I've done works. Yeah, uh, yeah, it'll be fine, but yeah, this this would have been a fitting conclusion to the game. Um, instead, my rook and bishop are back in the game somehow. Yeah, again, this well, at this point, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> yeah, give him another shot at it. Uh, wow, so that just shows how many, t well, yeah, no, he's right. There is still the mate. 
I guess. Uh, I'm trying to read it. Ugh. So they take in front of my king. General takes back. General takes, king takes, gold. Yeah, okay, it is the same mate. Instead, my king has escaped, and I make things complicated. Um, hmm. Wait, was this? Oh! Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, a huge step forward. Uh, wait, okay, yeah, no, I guess I do have this bishop covering this. Maybe you did see this in time pressure. But time man, uh, I guess the lesson has something to do with time management when being excited. Yeah, because there's a lot of variations here. I was excited. I was pumping up Abigail with my excitement. And that when I finally thought I was just completely dead, I sped up. And this got Abigail very excited. But he's still winning by a long shot. Uh, if he can just calm down from all the havoc I'm trying to ensue or cause. Um... Yeah. So when I'm lost, I just blitz things out. Uh, it's tricky to maintain calm under fire like that. Uh... Now, Abigail's, I think he's been showdown before. I'm almost certain. Like, last time we faced off, he was. Unless I'm, like, hallucinating. Um, but yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So many mates. Shogi's hard. Ah. <sighs> uh. Although, maybe the site already has them. I don't remember. Um, why was the gold not taken? I have no idea. Which gold are we talking about? What move? Uh, Oh. Okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, 60 second Biyomi might be a good thing to practice. Yeah, time zombie streams are fun. Um, every Shogi stream is fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, aren't we all? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this game was special. Uh, I know we're, I'm almost certain Abigail is one done, and I'm one done, and so, yeah. Somehow, we all have the numbers, but we're amateur one done. Like, this is not pro one done. So, we have to cut ourselves a little bit of slack, but also, gosh, we need to work on this. Uh, 
the task is set forth for us to work on. Yeah, this gold drop was too heavy and invalidated the rest of the combination. Yeah, three missed mates. Uh, oh my goodness, yeah, I hope the, that that turned out okay. Um, yeah, with my king under this kind of attack, um, hmm. um, yeah, I thought, like, I was just super crushed here. Oh wow, that's good that she can breathe again. That's a very good thing. Uh, this does not lead anywhere in terms of his attack, he says. Um, oh, wait. What am I missing? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess this whole time I thought this promoted silver was protecting um, 7, 8, and it's not. This does somewhat change my assessment, but... Um... Wait, how is there not a mate here? Oh, no. Where did the mate go? This is weird. What the hell? Um, hmm. Okay. Maybe my king was actually safe this whole time that I was confused. Maybe. The move I was most afraid of would have hung the rook, so I probably shouldn't have feared that so much. But, um... Yeah. Uh, well, I'm. Uh, that's just complicated. Have I missed something? Oh. Yeah, that would do it now, wouldn't it? I saw this and I just didn't think it was checkmate. Um, but no, it is checkmate. Ah. What a wild game. Um, it's going to drive me crazy because I still could have sworn with my king on the left side of the board. Like, yeah, somehow I thought I was still dead. But 
I'm not seeing a way to attack it, so... And somehow my attack just goes through, which also doesn't make sense, but um, we need to practice real sume, and studying it in the w w form of games is not constructive. Regardless how confused I was. Um... <laughs> Scary game, but it's Halloween. Yeah. This is why I chose to play Third File Rook. Uh, thought it would be pretty sharp. Whereas when the last time I played Central File Rook, we just got a confusing game. <laughs> uh... Um, yeah, I'm not going trick-or-treating. It's not happening. It's not safe. But you know where you can go to get candy? They sell it at grocery stores. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. Yep. There's a saying in Shogi about being out of pawns. So it's a pun. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't really want to drag everybody through, like, the post-game part where I'm trying to find how to checkmate my own king. Just given my background as a chess player, I find it necessary to draw that out, but also I feel horrible about drawing everybody into this. Ah. Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. It's um, All Hallows Day, November 1st over there. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, well, I'm going to figure out how to checkmate my left side king. Uh, don't mean to draw everyone into this boring exercise. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, it just seems there's got to be something here. I don't get it. To me, like, this... I was just astounded that there was not a mate. I found it difficult to accept that there was not a mate here. Or somewhere. After there being so many mates in a row, I just kind of took for granted that there must be a way to mate from here. Um, and the thing I was thinking about was rook 7-8, but it's no good. Uh... <laughs> yeah. 
I just like this is um I want to understand this, but uh, I don't really feel yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, let's put this on the big board. Oops, control zero to reset zoom. So uh, somewhere around here. I was convinced that not only is my attack useless, but also that my king is mated. Even here. Uh, GLGR suggesting a move. I don't know. I need time to think about this. Um... I mean, yeah, that's the principled move, guarding the square that Senta wants to drop the knight on. Um, but, like, this is just so confusing to me. How, even with all these misplays, there should still be a mate. I'm finding this very difficult to accept. This is the move I was thinking of. The problem, yeah, is that the king covers the square. But, uh, so the way the game continued was gold 6-5. I am just super convinced that I am still in a mate. And that there's nothing that can be done to stop it. Even with just a knight and a pawn. And this is like, some ridiculous assertion on my part. Yeah, there are three generals just sitting off to the right. There's these other three protecting the king. My attack should never go through, but also I was like convinced that I am mated. And I don't know why. Why am I so certain of this? What am I imagining? Okay, so like the lance could be taken. If I needed a lance, but then a pawn drop could deal with the lance. Uh, if I wanted to block these two bishops, I could drop the knight. This one bishop could take. And I'm threatening the head here. The pawn drop is Nifu, although I was concerned about it. Um, another pawn drop is here, but it leads to knight takes gold. Um, so perhaps was this the thing I was concerned about? And I forget if this is the thing Abigail and us were just looking at. Um, so this looks crushing, I think. In spite of this horse being all the way over on 1-1, one, one, this still looks... Like, there should be a mate. Just advancing the king is enough. I find this difficult to accept. Yeah, the king should never have escaped. But I really want to understand this, because I'm stupid. I want to know... Um... Like, with all this stuff, and with so little still left in hand here, I was still convinced that I was mated. I did not see a way to hold this. Maybe I should put this into an engine. I don't know. <sighs> My attack worked, but I was I'm still very flustered. Like... This seems like, uh, am I missing something? Like, this bishop threat, um, this is a sumero. This, like, I'm threatening mate. In the game, this all worked, but, um, or this is a threat mate. My attack did work, but I'm still thinking, like, well, this is covered. 
but um, yeah, like my attack is very slow here, but also this is a threat mate, and I don't see a way to defend against it, particularly with the gold still covering this square. My whole object was to get the gold to move away from the square. Um, maybe I've watched one too many Killer Ducky uh, live streams. Um, but yeah, I guess I did a Jedi mind trick of some sort. Um, not only is the threat the uh, bishop drop here, but... Well, no, bishop drop here does not mate. Never mind. But okay, so yeah, I think there's no way to permanently turn off this attack short of delivering mate myself. And with two knights and all this stuff in hand, okay, this is complicated, but um, yeah. I think at this point I have to deliver mate, otherwise I'm mated. If I knight drop on 6-6, six, six, uh, dragon 8-8, eight, eight, or rook 8-8, eight, eight, dragon promotion mates. If I put the knight on 8-6, um, the bishop drop mates. If I put any kind of piece anywhere around here to defend against all these other mates, I, I don't know. Okay, I don't have to give up the bishop. Right. Okay. So we're saying that moving the king up was good enough. Oh. Oh. This is not a rook. This is a promoted silver. Okay. And then I was thinking we take the lance. And, like, this still to me looked like a threat mate. Although it's probably very complicated. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do to avoid getting mated. Um... Huh, I'm out of material, aren't I? What the heck? Okay. So I think now I understand why I was so confused. It's that my pieces, as loosely coordinated as they are, like, I only control one diagonal, but this is actually enough to avoid immediately getting mated. That's unbelievable to me. Like, this I had difficulty accepting, that controlling only a single line, that somehow this would be sufficient to against whatever might come my way. Um, I guess my own attack is slow here. And it is accelerating, but it is still slow at the moment. But okay, yeah, I guess this is more complicated than I thought. So, this knight drop would lead to the king advance, and then taking the lance does not mate. Um, taking the other lance, same deal. Okay. Maybe my attack is more impressive than I thought. Oh! How about this? Okay. This, yeah. I think this explains why I was so confused. Yeah. 
Ha. <laughs> well, I forgot that a promoted silver doesn't cover the 7 8 square. Uh Okay, yeah, I mean Oh, actually, yeah, Abigail's point is right. No, Mikal points out correctly. Um, the pawn drop would actually kind of ruin things, so we have to go here instead. But now we don't get a knight. We are knightless. Um, no, the pawn drop would actually kind of ruin the thing, so you have to go here instead. Um, good call by Mikal there. Yeah, this is what had me so confused. I'm like, wherever I thought the silver was covering that square. Of course, if we got that position, I would have to find king takes rook. Maybe I would have found it. I hope I would have found it. Um, we have comments. Oh, GLGR also pointed it out. Oh, okay, I'm slow. I had to... Okay. Yes. Um... Okay. This is why I was so confused. Um, yeah, now while there might be, and there probably are, ways to defend, at least this position is more complicated than it appeared at first. Um, so, I mean, yeah, we could talk about a rook drop, stuff like that, fine. Um, but... No, this actually, yeah, this is, at least explains, like, I was certain that I was mated and that this was, like, not only was my attack slow, but this attack looked very fast. Now, this rook drop actually does both attack and defend at the same time. Maybe my attack still works here. My meaning Senta here, but, um, yeah. Uh, whatever. We can argue the finer nuances of whether or not this actually would have worked. Um, yeah, I think this is the best move. I'm not really in super a mood to look at that further. But the idea, like, there's this, like, incredible resource that, despite all these pieces being in very funky locations, Senta's pieces are also pretty misplaced. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, it's actually complicated, and, um, there are real attacking threats with this rook. That explains it. And even if there weren't, maybe this is still a thing, too. Um, so if there is a couple moves, we might be able to do something like this, and somehow involve other pieces in this attack. So, yeah, the fact that, like, my attack went through, like, a uh, hot knife through butter didn't necessarily reflect all the crazy stuff I was afraid of. Um, so this happened in the game, but, like, since my goal is to just take control of this square, um, this would control the square. And 5-5 five five is under control by this pawn here, too. So, yeah, I mean, moving the gold ostensibly is the uh, more profitable way to defend this. But, like, uh, my main point is just that, like, there's maybe a couple ways to defend this. And I was, like, freaking out that my attack was uh, successful. Um, so, yeah, something like this, maybe. I don't know, but... Anyway, yeah, now we understand why I was so confused about, like, surely there was some way to use these pieces. Yeah, there there actually was. Um, okay. And if people were mentioning this earlier, did I analyze the king retreat for Gota? I don't remember. Um, we could look at it. I think that'd be a good place to wrap this up anyway. Uh, wrap up the game analysis that is. So we moved forward. 
did we look at this? I don't think we looked too much at this. Um, certainly not allowed. But like this, uh, while it might not immediately mate, is still... Well, it's not even check. It's not check. Yeah, I don't know. Put these endgames into your engine of choice and see whether or not you get this position. I guess is the conclusion. You should probably actually practice real sume at some point. Um, um, yeah. Real sume are worth practicing. But okay, at least now I understand why I was so panicked toward the end. I was afraid because there was a real way that this rook could get toward my king. Um, if like, uh, he'd not taken my bishop, allowing my horse back into here. There were ways for these generals to come back toward my king, too. So, yeah, there was a lot for me to be alarmed about. And the fact that I was so alarmed for mo much of this, um, is actually kind of warranted and not some sort of indicator that I'm completely insane. Um, so, okay, I think I understand why I was in such a panicky mood somewhere around here. Um, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, I had a teaching ladder game uh, with Freezet recently. Um, I couldn't attack either. Attacking is hard, especially against down level players. So. Yeah, gotta practice. Practice makes perfect. Wow, what a game. What a game. So let's put the final position on the board. Um, yeah, thanks to everyone running the tournaments uh, that make it possible for us to get such viewership, that make it possible for us to coordinate the games, and give us motivation to do post-game analysis. So, yeah. Um, very exciting, uh, group two tournament. Um, I guess this means having won the semifinals, I'm going to compete in the finals. And I think top one or top two or something advance. So we'll see how the finals go. I'm nervous. I was super nervous going into this game. It can be even just as nervous going into the next. It'll be great. Um, yeah, maybe I should actually put in the time to practice Sume and not just talk about doing it. Okay, so I'm guaranteed to go into the next stage because it is top two advance. I didn't want to get that wrong, but okay, good. Well, since I'm going to be advancing in the Shogi Hall tournament, well, that uh, stay tuned and watch me go beat all the like two don three don four don however many dons there are my name's dan so i'm the dan don yeah it'll be good it'll be fun we'll see how it goes